Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to set up the auto spinner in your Angular application so that you don't need to use the spinner component anywhere in your application. Come, let's dive in. So I'm going to show you the application that we already used and in this application, if you see, there's a spinner component and it comes every time when you manually go to a different page when the API gets called, that spinner has been triggered by the code, right? So there's a piece of code which says, spin service dot show dot hide and all those things so that happens for all these calls right so so many api calls so what will happen uh, imagine uh, if you have a component where more than one api calls are made how will you be able to uh, show and stop uh, properly it, it is impossible right you cannot uh, determine which api will finish first which api will finish uh, last so you you don't have an ability to do that so to solve this problem our solution will help. So here's the code, right? So what we are going to do is we're going to go to the service folder, okay, and then create a service. So if you don't have this code, please take it from the GitHub and you can easily do it. So the first service that I'm going to create is the interceptor service, okay, the spinner interceptor service. Basically, this is an HTTP interceptor, uh, which will, you know, take, uh, which will already interpret any calls that goes outside and HTTP calls goes outside okay so let's create another service called spinner service and I'll explain you what both the services are going to do so the spinner service is basically having two methods and every time there is a call that goes it will just keep incrementing that the call went and when the call returns from the, the HTTP interceptor it will decrement one call so if five call goes it will be five and then one calls comes out with an answer it becomes four okay so if you look at this interceptor right what basically an interceptor will do any http call goes it will go through all the interceptor that is configured in your application so let's say this interceptor is configured so the call will go to the interceptor and then what we are going to do we are going to inject the service and say show if you do this what will happen in the, in the spinner service we are adding it right so every time you do a show it will add one one call and then when it comes back in the finalized method which means uh, API has responded, we do a call on dot height, which will decrement the number of calls that went. All right, so this is what these two servers. Now what we have to do, we need to configure this service, the HTTP interceptor service in the provider. So go all the way through the root component, the root module, which is app module. And here you place the interceptor service. So I copy pasted the interceptor service in the provider and let's bring in the namespace that's it right so for this application there is only one interceptor generally speaking there will be more interceptors but it's okay as long as this interceptor is placed in the zap module we are good now there are very simple steps that we have to do okay so you go to the app component inject the spinner service so there's no constructor right now so we inject the spinner service and uh, just let's bring in the namespace okay control period will give you an option to bring in the namespace so we bring in the import statement and then the app component is done. So the next two set of steps are nothing but the HTML and the CSS. See, I have a very basic development which will have a, a CSS class decorated, okay? And then there's an ng if statement which will uh, look for the spinner count. As long as the count is there in the behavioral subject, right? As long as the count has more than zero, uh, this div will start showing up and this is the css so don't worry about css right so you know you don't need to uh, hard and fast learn css you can actually pretty much find all the css outside so if you put this css right all what we are going to do we have done all this work and then if you do this you see this the black color the opacity uh, thing coming up right so that will automatically come whenever you go to any any page as long as the api calls are made it will come so let's keep it simple let's go and disable all the stuff in the existing spinner component okay so what will happen only this will come you see this i go to product i go to any navigation the the main spinner comes and then blocks the ui automatically so that the user uh, cannot do any action behind the scene right so that's the idea Okay, so now this, what is the advantage of this, right? You don't need to use the spinner component. You don't need to say dot so dot hide in every single component. You have 100 components. You don't need to do this 100 times. One single place, we are done. We wrapped up the outgoing HTTP calls with the use of interceptor. And then the interceptor will, uh, you know, count and decrement the number of calls going outside. 
and then as long as there is a count which means there is an active api call going outside and this simple do element will show you that beautiful spinner like uh, ui on your screen i hope you enjoy this video this is very simple i've already checked in this code uh, into the GitHub repository it's in a separate branch i have not merged in the main branch you can always go take this code uh, use it and let me know and don't forget to comment that you you also had a frustrating moment where you need to use the spinner components several times right so this problem you have solved it i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video guys thank you thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon